Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Fertus here and today we are going to be taking a look at how we can use the updated Adobe Mixamo for 2018. Now this is a brilliant free tool for creating, rigging, animating and bringing your characters to life. Now this tool will allow you to first things first create a character if you want to, choosing one from their library or mixing it with Adobe Fuse to you know change the body, change the clothing and that kind of stuff. This tool will also automatically rig your character so put all the bones in there and all the skeleton stuff, uh, skeletal stuff that you're going to need to make this into an animation. And then in terms of animation, you just choose one of the many, many pre-made animations from their library, which is great. And from there, you can export the character and you can export the, end, uh, the animations into a game engine, 3D software, or whatever you're going to want to do for it. Now, one thing I do want to mention before I go any, any further is I've had a lot of people asking, with the new update, can you still use Adobe Mixamo? Is it broken? Absolutely not. It's not broken. It still works and it is a brilliant free tool. Now, they have made two changes to this, which are quite big ones, but it does not affect um, you know, whether or not you can use this software. It's straightforward and that's what I'm going to be showing you how to do. Now, a couple of months ago, I made two really great videos for Adobe Mixamo showing you how you can use this, uh, use the website and also how to bring it into Unreal Engine 4. The first one, using the website, I definitely advise you go ahead and check that out. The link is in the description. Now, bear in mind a couple of things have changed and that's what I'm going to be clearing up in today's video. Also, the second video where I showed you how to bring the animations and the characters into a game engine that is still exactly the same. Once again, if you want to watch that, the link is down in the description below. Now, moving on, let's quickly talk about some of the changes that they have made to Adobe Mixamo. There's two main things that you need to know about. The first one is the way that you look at your asset packs. Um, the asset packs are still in there, you just can't open those up and check the animations one by one. You can, however, still you know, download the animations one by one, not as part of the animation pack, and go through the settings for each one of those. Um, it's not too much of an issue, I'm going to show you how you can download each one of those animations one by one. It is going to take a little bit longer, but it's still not too much of an issue, and you're still getting free great animations and characters out of this. Now, the other change is that you can no longer upload a bunch of characters and save them. And when I say save them, I just mean to the cloud so you can come back and get to them later. Now you just have one character that you can edit at a time. And if you upload another one or change to another one, it's not going to save your progress. Now, bear in mind though, if you have already downloaded your animation and downloaded your rig character, it's not too much of an issue because you can just re-upload the rigged one and continue downloading animations for that. So now that we've cleared all of this up, let's go ahead and quickly show you how you can use this. So first things first, with anything, you need to have a character first. So go over to Browse Characters, and then if you wanted to, you will have a little preview over here on the right hand side, it would probably just have some random character or you might not have one at all. This is the character that you're working with at the moment. You can either choose another one from the characters panel over here. So if I wanted to, I can go to my boy Jasper and then proceed with this character. So you can see here what it says, your previous character will not be saved. So what that means is it's just not going to save any of the files that you've uploaded or anything like that. It's really nothing to worry about, but you can see I've now got my boy Jasper. And then from here, I can find some animations for him. Now, one thing you want to do before you start downloading these animations is download the character and this will download the rigged version of this character for you and just the character because when you download the animations now most of the time you are not going to get the character included in the files that you download you need to have the character so moving on let's go ahead and find an animation now i'm going to show you how to get just one animation to start with so i'm going to go for something like samba dance 
Now, you can see now, my boy Jasper is doing some, you know, smooth groove right now, and he's doing this cool little dance. On the right hand side, you can see I've got all the settings for this, you know, this thing that he's doing. So you can see I can change the energy, I can turn it up if I want to make it look like he's been on something special. And then stance, you can change this up and down. It's entirely up to you. You can put overdrive on to speed it up if you want to. Now he's definitely been on something special. But the point is, you can still go in and get these animations. Just press download. And then with this, normal download settings, FBX, 30 frames per second with skin. And, you know, your keyframe stuff. Don't worry about that. Just press download. Give it a couple of seconds and it will just download like any other file in your browser. There is no longer a download manager inside of Mixamo which is going to clean things up a little bit. It's just going to go straight down here and download. And you can see now already I have got two files, one for the character, one for the animation and it's really that straightforward. Now moving on, let's go ahead and show you how you can get one of the animation packs. Now these animation packs are not as easy as they used to be to get to. So now you've actually got to search for it rather than having like this big window like you did before. So if we type in something like zombie, if you remember there was a zombie asset pack, and go down here, you can choose the animations one by one if you want to, which is the best way to give you the ability to, you know, play through all the settings, change in place and that kind of stuff. But if you go down, you should see an asset pack for it. So let's see if I can find it. Here you are, so not so scary zombie pack. And you can see that it's an asset pack because it's got a little icon in the bottom left of the preview, which shows you how many animations are in there. And if you give it a couple of seconds to load up, you are gonna see our character Jasper is going to start playing through some of these animations. Now, one thing you'll notice is with this pack, I can no longer change all of the settings for in place and that kind of stuff, which is actually quite important for the game engine. So having said that, what you're gonna wanna do is just download these animations one by one. So grab your zombie idle, your zombie run, and just make sure you check in place. And it's as simple as that, and you can still download your stuff. Now, before I end off the video, I'm going to show you how you can upload your character as well, your own custom character if you've got one. So I'm going to go to upload character, and it's exactly the same as before. You just click, drag, and drop a file into here. I'm just going to drop in a link file. Uh, when I say link, I mean like a link character from Zelda. Um, and then just show you how to automatically rig this. So the auto rigger is exactly the same. Let's press next. And then we've just got to drop these little things onto my dude. So drop in the wrists, the elbows, the knees, and lastly, the groin of my dude. And then just press next, give it a couple of seconds and it will automatically rig the character for us. And from there we can find some animations, literally any of the animations from the Mixamo library. Just give it a couple of seconds and we'll get into it. Okay, so you can see now then that my character has come to life, the auto rigger has worked and he's going to be moving his head left and right. And if we press next, it says your 3D character has been uploaded. Proceed with this new character, just press next. And then from there, it's going to work just the same as the other characters um, in the sense that you can choose any one of these animations and then just download it for your character, which is great. Anyway guys, that's pretty much everything that I wanted to show you in today's video. I hope this clears things up for you guys using Mixamo. It's still a great free tool. Everything you need in terms of learning this software is down in the download link in the description. Thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep curating. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.